when the ancestors call you have to answer and a couple of south african celebrities have accepted and embraced their ancestral callings to become sangomas welcome back to gemini blessed tv and today we're going to be showing 10 south african celebrities who are sangomas if you're new to the channel we publish new content every week so hit the subscribe button for more exciting content number one dineo langa Dineo Langa is a South African actress best known for playing the role of Kia Koza on The Queen which airs on Muzanzi Magic. In 2019, the actress and rapper Solo Langa tied the knot after dating for more than 7 years. Surprisingly, both of the lovebirds had ancestral callings as Sangomas and they both accepted them. The couple revealed that they got along easily from the first date but at the time they didn't know that they both had spiritual callings. According to Solo, accepting his spiritual calling was a difficult decision, but from a young age he'd always known that he was gifted. For Dineo, it was different. She found out that she had a spiritual calling after she'd gone to consult a Sangoma about a totally different issue. In a recent interview, the couple revealed how they both had to pay Lobola for one another to join their union in a way that would appease both their ancestors. The couple expressed that they are not embarrassed with the blessing and they are pleased with it. Number 2. Boiti Tulo Boiti is a South African television personality, rapper, actress, businesswoman and model. She has been a dominant feature in the entertainment industry for a while now. Boiti accepted a calling to become a Sangoma back in 2016 but she has received heavy criticism from fans with some judging her apparently for allowing demons to take control of her life. She didn't take it lightly and responded in a series of tweets saying, If you're going to try and demonize me for believing in my ancestors and the journey they have placed on me, you're wasting your time. And stop trying to say me to get reprimanded by white Jesus who claims the people who birthed my family are demons. The rapper went on to say in an interview that being a Sangoma is the best thing that has ever happened to her and she's not ashamed of it. She's however still a Christian and credits both her Christianity and traditional beliefs for her success. Number 3. Gigi Lamain Gigi Lamain is a 26-year-old South African award-winning female rapper and songwriter. Gigi raised eyebrows in May 2020 after she posted a photo on Instagram wearing red and white beads around her wrist and an ancestral cloth that symbolized that she was going through training to become a Sangoma. She received several messages from fellow celebrities congratulating her on a new journey. The rapper revealed that she never believed in ancestors and traditional healers before but said that her life had changed for the better since she embarked on a spiritual journey. Number 4. Kelly Kumalo With nearly 15 years in the industry, Kelly Kumalo is a South African musician and actress. Rumors of Kelly Kumalo being a Sangoma started in 2018 after she was spotted wearing a gear reserved for Sangomas. Not all celebrities are okay with the public knowing about their spiritual journey because when called for comments she replied by saying it's none of anyone's business. According to reports a close source however revealed Kelly was indeed undergoing training to become a Sangoma but did not give any further details around this decision. Back in 2014, a well-known Sangoma said that Kelly needed to embrace her calling or she would never have peace in her life. And it seems she finally took the decision to honor her ancestors and answer their calling. Number 5. Litoya Makene Litoya is a South African actress, singer and TV personality best known for her role as CD on Generations The Legacy. She took time off from acting way back in 2003 when she was just 19 to take an 8 month training course at an initiation school to become a Sangoma. The actress actually runs a traditional healing practice in Joburg. She had previously stopped consulting as a Sangoma due to her high profile on Generations Legacy but she has since found a safer place to practice and she's active again. 
Litoya also expressed that she will always be a Sangoma because the ancestors chose her. Number 6. Don Tandeka King Don Tandeka King is one of the most popular people in Uzanzi as she is known for her role on Uzalo as Mankobo. The actress found that she had an ancestral calling in 2008 after she was involved in a car accident. She was hospitalized and couldn't walk for a month but something told her it had to be an ancestral calling. She remembers saying if this is an ancestral calling then I accept and from that day she could walk again. Despite her busy schedule, she still finds time to practice her ancestral gift and she even receives songs from her ancestors which she uses to communicate with them. Don Tandeka King revealed in 2018 that she has plans to open a traditional healing practice but because of her acting career, she has put that dream on hold. The actress also revealed that she is a Christian before a Sangoma and she battled with the decision to answer her calling having grown up in a Christian home. At a later stage, she might leave the entertainment industry and concentrate on her work as a Sangoma but for now she is focused on acting. Number 7. Baby Tele Another Uzalo actress who has also accepted their ancestral calling is fellow actress Baby Tele who is known for her role as Gabi Sile. Chatting with the host of Afternoon Express, the Uzalo actress shared her journey as a healer and how she has always known she had a gift but only accepted it way later in life. The actress first knew she had a gift when she was just 10 years old but her father was against it so her family spent much time ignoring it. However, soon after her parents died, it was revealed that her mother also had a gift and because she had died, she had to take over. She accepted the calling in 2004 and says it's a big responsibility that can sometimes hold you back from forming relationships. Number 8. Shoki Mola Shoki Mola is a South African actress most famous for acting as Celia Kunutu, the mother of Rasha Kunutu and stepmother of Nimrod on the SABC One Soapy Skim Sam. The actress is delighted to be a practicing Sangoma despite her demanding job and recently being a single parent after parting ways with her allegedly abusive ex-husband. The actress accepted her calling after her divorce had been finalized and she graduated as a registered traditional healer in 2019. Shoki admitted that she was worried that being a celebrity would have a negative impact on her practice since it's now becoming a trend for celebrities to become Sangomas. Number 9. Nuninzi Williams Nuninzi Williams is a South African playwright and actress who has appeared on several TV shows including Generations and Soul City. She is best known for her role as Cuba on Rhythm City. The actress is also a Sangoma and she has been practicing for several years. She points out that Sangomas are the total opposite of witch doctors who deal with black magic. Number 10. Wongani Masondo Wongani is a South African actor best known for his portrayal as baby maker on SABC One's Kim Sam. In 2011, Wongani says he had to leave everything to practice as a Sangoma as he was called by his ancestors. After going to the initiation school, he had to ask his ancestors to put his Sangoma duties on hold so he could continue with his acting career. The actor says he will at some point go back to practicing as a Sangoma but only when time allows him. Which celebrity did we leave out and do you believe in ancestral callings? Comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more exciting videos.